Sergio Exihan has been a diving enthusiast for the past five decades. He was so fascinated by the beauty of the sea bottom that he became a passionate diver. When I started scuba diving in 1973, I didn't have a wetsuit. The places you can go were limited. There's a tube, but you cannot go down because there is no suet. He says the sea bottom was like an aquarium when he first started. But that vivid and colourful scene was almost ruined when he found the proper equipment to dive deeper. The seafloor was carpeted with fishing gear that had been abandoned. With time, for various reasons, be it technological, pollution or overfishing, this aquarium image deteriorated. Fishing nets that have been lost at sea are referred to as ghost gear. There are several reasons for the equipment to be abandoned. Severe weather, snags beneath the surface or interaction with other vessels can increase the number of nets tangled. When Exian started coming across an increasing number of nets trapped under rocks in the deep sea, he decided to remove them with the help of two friends. And over the past 16 years, he has cleaned up almost 30,000 square meters of ghost gear. And he has found new ways to make use of it. We turn some clean nets into mesh bags and sell them. We donate the income to the Marine Life Conservation Society. If a net is not clean, we send it to the villages after washing it a bit. Villagers use it when growing tomatoes, peppers and especially strawberries. They cover the products with it to protect from weather conditions. The nets that we found 30 or 40 meters deep in the sea are now used in the mountains to protect strawberries and tomatoes at 2,000 meters above sea level. Now that is reuse. Exian says net pollution is a major threat to fish and other marine creatures. And he's calling for more action to be taken before this out of sight, out of mind problem haunts the seas further. Daniel Padwick, TRT World.